Hi, this is Bethany with Research Shake Kennels, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit, bit about something that we deal with a lot that's generally an issue or can be with some of the English Goldens. And then with any type of just softer personality dog, something that you may deal with is going to be submissive urination. And this can happen when you greet your dog, when your dog greets someone else. This can happen whenever they encounter something that's a fearful stimulus. So we're going to talk to you about why they do it what is it and what does it mean and then some ways to work through that so the first thing is you know what is submissive urination and it's simply your dogs once again reaction to something fearful and it may be something that they do as a very young puppy and it may be something that they grow out of it may be something that they haven't done and then all of a sudden you begin to see this issue so there are a variety of reasons for that. Number one, if you just have a softer personality dog, this may be something that you encounter. It's something that's generally seen in a lower personality level, in a lower energy level, as well as in a more submissive beta personality of a dog. You're not gonna deal with this in a more confident or a more outgoing dog, but that may not be the right fit for your environment. So if you are dealing with this, these are some tips and ways to work through it. Now, submissive urination is not something that your dog can control. This is the body's response to letting you know that they may be uncomfortable about something, letting you know that they are submissive to you. This is something that you wanna make sure that you never correct. So when your dog has a potty accident, it is normal for you to wanna correct that behavior. But if this is a submissive urination problem and you do correct that, therefore you are making the problem worse. And this is something we wanna make sure that we never do. While we understand that it can be very frustrating for you, it's something that your dog does not have control over. So the most important thing is to just build them up from that, to never correct that. And this is something that we're going to work through. Now we're gonna show you with one of our puppies that we have with us, just some things to look for, some personality traits to look for, some body language, as well as how to practically work through that. So when you see a more submissive dog, they're gonna offer you some different body language. These are some things that you're going to see prior to them producing that submissive urination. So we have her right here in front of us. Good girl. So something that you'll notice immediately from her is her ears are back, her head is relatively low, and she has a very low tail wag. So these are all submissive signs. These are signs of her letting me know that she's a very soft personality, that she's not boisterous, boisterous she's not dominant, she's not pushy. Good girl, very good. Now something that if you have a submissive dog and they are coming to you, you always wanna practice and work on their body language. You want them to be confident, you want to build them up. So if she's coming to me and she's in a low body carriage, I'm not gonna reward that and I'm actually not gonna acknowledge that. So if I back away from her and she comes to me, good girl, very good. I want her to come to me with an upright position, with a head up, good girl. And I'm gonna reach under her chin and scratch her. I'm not gonna reach over her head. I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure on her and I'm not gonna make her uncomfortable. All these things are going to help with submissive urination, very good. So if she comes to me with a lower body carriage, I'm gonna use a food reward and I'm gonna put that up in front of her, good girl. And I'm gonna lure her body into an upright position. This is making her more comfortable. This is letting her know in a confident manner that this is the right thing to do. Now, if your dog is coming to you in a lower body carriage and you are continuing to reward that, they do think that's the right thing. So in order to change that mindset and change that mentality, you're gonna build them up. You're gonna ask them to come to you, whether it be in an upright position, if you have a dog that has a submissive urination when they are sitting, ask that dog to hold a standing position. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Good girl. Now, once again, when I'm inviting her in front of me, asking her to hold a standing position, keeping her body carriage upright, these things are once again, they're gonna help her. Good girl. Ah. Good, very good. So if she's continuing to tuck her body, I'm still not gonna reward that. I'm gonna wait for her to give me just a little more of a confident body posture, a little more of a confident behavior. Good, just like that. So there she held that position, very good. And while understandably we do teach them to automatically sit, that's a behavior that they offer, it's not going to undo that. She's not going to unlearn that sitting position just by asking her to hold that standing. Good, yes, good. Good girl, uh -uh, that's not what I want. So it's important that if that's good, if you know what you're asking from your dog, don't reward something less. So wait for her to give you, or him, to give you what you're looking for. Very good. Good girl, good girl, very good. That's very good. So when you're building confidence, there are some other ways that you can practice building confidence just besides body language. While this is very important, you can also practice building confidence in other areas. Practice having positive associations with your dog, introducing them to a lot of different stimulus, and then rewarding that. Now some other things that can cause some submissive urination is fear periods. Now we do have a blog on fear periods if you are a little unsure of what this is, then you can go read that blog as well. But your dog will go through multiple fear periods during that first year of life. 
During these fear periods, they may become fearful of something that they've never been fearful of. So this is something that once again, you will want to work through. It will take a little bit of time, but it is something that they grow out of. While most of your submissive urination problems, they do grow out of. It's something that you can help by working through much faster. Now, another time that dogs will submissive urinate is whenever they greet someone new or whenever you greet your dog. So there are a couple different ways to practice greeting your dog. Number one, if your dog is a submissive urinator whenever you come home, don't greet your dog extremely loudly or extremely excited. Wait for your dog to be calm, wait for you to be calm, wait for that excitement to wear off from something new happening, from someone coming in the home before you greet them. Wait for everyone to be relaxed. Remember that you are always encouraging the state of mind that your dog is in. Therefore, if you are in an excited state of mind and your dog is in an excited state of mind and you reward that and you acknowledge that, you're teaching them that is the right thing to do. The other part of controlling your emotions and controlling that excitement is also controlling frustration. Now, when a dog does have a submissive urination problem, it can be extremely frustrating because it's not something that everyone wants to deal with on a daily basis. However, keep in mind that this is a temporary problem. They normally grow out of this problem. So while that frustration can be felt internally, you don't want to show that to your dog because if you show them that you are frustrated with them, that will actually make the problem worse. Dogs automatically feed off of what we're feeling. They feed off of our body language. Therefore, if you're frustrated with your dog dealing with this issue, it's going to make the issue more likely to become worse or something that they're gonna show you more frequently. Good girl. So other ways that you can greet them as well, whenever you get home, whenever you're greeting someone else, is you can greet them in a less imposing manner. If the dog is not comfortable with someone greeting them from the front, you can greet from the side, you can reward in that manner. You can rub under the chin from the side, let them know that it's not putting pressure on them. With that submissive urination, it can be when they feel pressured, when they feel uncomfortable, or when they just feel like they're a little out of control of that situation. Good girl, come here. Very good. So greeting from the side, letting her know that there's no pressure involved, that we're not making her uncomfortable is very important, as well as always advocating for your dog whenever someone new is coming into the home. So we're gonna show you how to encounter someone new approaching your dog, because it can be a little more difficult if that is the issue, because not only are you controlling the dog, you're controlling whoever is coming in your home or whoever they're greeting out in public. Now, one way that we're gonna practice this is we're gonna just have them walk up, give the treat, and not pet the dog. Everyone always wants to pet the dog, they're beautiful, it's something that most people want to do. However, if you have a dog that has submissive urination, you wanna avoid that. You don't wanna put any unnecessary pressure on your dog because that's gonna make the problem worse and it's gonna make it harder to work through. So if that's the case, carry some treats with you, ask someone to give them a treat instead of petting them. This will create a positive association with new people as well as gonna make your dog feel more comfortable without having that pressure. So we're gonna show you what that looks like now. Good girl. So now we're showing what it looks like for someone to greet your dog inappropriately. So we know that this is making her uncomfortable. You could tell by her body language whenever he began to approach her, she tucked her body down, she was uncomfortable, and she did submissive urinate a little bit. So there's some little signs that show you she's getting ready to do that. She, once again, tucks that body, her ears go back, her legs spread a little bit, and her tail will generally lift. These are all signs that your dog is getting ready to submissive urinate or already has because this is not the appropriate way for someone new to greet your dog. Now she is familiar with him, she has met him, but even so, it still made her uncomfortable. So now we're gonna show you what an appropriate greeting looks like. So now we're gonna show you what a more appropriate greeting looks like. So number one, you should always invite the dog to greet the new person. So I'm gonna ask her to come here, good. And he's gonna offer her a treat, therefore not putting pressure on her. So you can see that he's not petting her, he's not doing anything that's going to make her uncomfortable, and therefore we're inviting her to move towards the new person still not petting her, and this is where most people make the mistake of they're gonna to start to reach for the dog. That's something that you wanna avoid. We're still not gonna put pressure on her. And then I'm gonna invite her to move away. Come on, hey, yes, good. So therefore, it's easy for her to understand that number one, she doesn't have to stay where she's uncomfortable. It's positive, so it's approach and retreat. This is giving her a space, this is giving her an out, and this is making it positive for her. So this is the best way to introduce her to new people and have people greet her in a positive manner. So we hope that this video helps you understand, number one, why your dog may be submissive urinating, as well as some tips and tricks on how to prevent that or how to work through that. And so if you have any more issues, if you have any questions, we are happy to help, but thank you so much. That was a good girl. Yes, it was.